Hello, good morning. As promised, welcome to the next installment of the uh, ASMR devotional. Once again, we're going to be looking at A.W. Tozer, the Christian book of mystical verse. This one is called The Greatness of God. And it is by Frederick Faber, once again. So here goes the greatness of God. O majesty unspeakable and dread, wert thou less mighty than thou art? Thou wert, O Lord, too great for our belief, too little for our heart. Thy greatness would seem monstrous by the side of creatures frail and undivine. Yet they would have a greatness of their own, free and apart from thine. Such grandeur were but a created thing, a specter, terror, and a grief, out of all keeping with a world so calm, oppressing our belief. But greatness, which is infinite, makes room for all things in its lap to lie. We should be crushed by a magnificence short of infinity. It would outgrow us from the face of things, still prospering as we decayed, and like a tyrannous rival, it would feed upon the wrecks it made. But what is infinite must be a home, a shelter for the meanest life, where it is free to reach its greatest growth, far from the touch of strife. We share in what is infinite, tis ours, for we and it alike are thine. What I enjoy, great God, by right of thee, is more than doubly mine. Thus doth thy hospitable greatness lie outside us like a boundless sea. We cannot lose ourselves where all is home, nor drift away from thee. Out on that sea we are in harbor still, and scarce advert to winds and tides, like ships that ride at anchor, with the waves flapping against their sides. Thus doth thy grandeur make us grand ourselves. Tis goodness bids us fear. Thy greatness makes us brave as children are when those they love are near. Great God, our lowliness takes heart to play beneath the shadow of thy state. The only comfort of our littleness is that thou art so great. Then on thy grandeur I will lay me down. Already life is heaven for me. No cradled child more softly lies than I. Come soon, eternity.